Hello and welcome. In this video, we're going to learn about dirty air. Dirty air is a term for the wind that has been disturbed by the sails of another sailboat. It is very important to know where the areas of dirty air are around the boat so that you can avoid sailing in them. Sailing in dirty air has a significant negative performance effect on your sailing, so it's really important to avoid sailing in dirty air. Let's consider an example of a boat sailing on a run. In this case, the wind is coming from behind and it's hitting the sail and it can't pass through the sail. So it ends up passing around the sail. Okay. Um, over time, the wind is going to fill back in from the sides, forming an area of missing airflow that looks like this. So this whole area has no wind. Now, the height of the boat is very important in determining how big this area will be. Um, in light winds, the area of disturbed air can be about 10 times the height of the mast. Not the length of the boat, but the height of the mast. So a typical dinghy mast might be somewhere around five to seven meters. So you could be 50 to 70 uh, meters long wind shadow. That's quite a large area to avoid sailing in. Now the area closest to the sail will have the largest impact, but any amount of wind shadow is going to harm your performance. Now let's look at what happens when we're reaching. Just like when we're running, a wind shadow is created behind the sail in this area. Now, as the boat moves forward, the wind shadow drifts downwind and begins to fill back in. The wind shadow drifts into this position, and a new one is created here. And then she travels forwards again. The wind shadows continue to drift downwind, and a new one is created here. The result is an overall wind shadow that looks something like this. Okay. It extends to leeward in the direction of the apparent wind, and it can have a similar length at up to 10 times the height of the mast. Now the best way to see if you're in the wind shadow of another boat when reaching is to look at her wind indicator. If it is pointing roughly in your direction, then you may be in an area of dirty air. If she doesn't have a wind indicator or you can't see it, you can use your wind indicator as well or an estimate of your apparent wind based on your sail trip. However, remember this will only work if you're sailing in similar winds and at similar speed to the other boat. Now let's look at what happens when we're sailing with wind. There's a second effect that occurs when we're sailing upwind. The airflow around the sail is a little bit different. The air comes in from the direction of the apparent wind. Then the sails extract power by changing the direction of that wind. And then eventually, the wind returns back to the direction of the apparent winds behind the boat. Additionally, just behind the sail, an area of turbulence is created. Okay, so now let's consider what happens to another boat that is sailing near a boat sailing close haul. So the front boat is experiencing wind coming from this direction. However, she's curving the wind around her sail so that it is coming more in this direction behind her. That means that the second boat following behind wants to be getting wind from this direction, but she's actually getting it more from 
come straight ahead. This effectively means that she is sailing in a header, and so she'll need to point lower in order to maintain her speed. Now, what happens when she points lower is that eventually she's going to fall back down behind. And then she's going to be right in the area of turbulent air, and she's going to be in the wind shadow area, and she's just going to keep drifting back and falling off to leeward. We call this the lee bow position, and that's because it's harmful to have a boat that is both to leeward of you and just off of your bow. As a rule of thumb, and this is going to depend on what type of boat you're sailing and how big the sails are, but if you sail above the center line, if your center line is above the center line of the boat ahead, and you are one to two boat lengths back, say in a position like this, you'll generally be okay. But if you're in an area that's up to one meter to windward, and within a boat length behind, then you'll be affected by the lee bow effect, and you're likely to point lower and drop off. Now this is one of the most serious types of dirty air, and if you ever find yourself in this position, it's important to tack away immediately. It's not worth sticking around and trying to determine if you're sailing in dirty air. Generally, the costs of doing a tack are much lower than if you fall off because you've been sailing in dirty air. So in summary, the uh, wind shadow and dirty air around the boat sailing on close hull is both the normal wind shadow that extends in the direction of apparent wind behind the sails, as well as the area of the lee bow effect that extends up to one meter to windward of the center line and about one boat length back. Now let's look at an example. Which of the boats is getting dirty air from the red boat? Let's start at the top. This boat here is looking good. She is well to windward of the red boat and so she's not affected by the disturbed air around the red boat. Now what about, what about this boat here? She is actually in the lee bow position to the red boat. Okay, she is within one meter to windward and one boat length back. Okay, what is going to happen to her? She is going to end up pointing much lower and she's going to have difficulty sailing. So this is not a good place to be. Now how about this boat? She is in a good spot because she is about two boat lengths behind the red boat and she is to windward of the red boat center line. So this is an okay place to be sailing. Now what about this boat? She is gonna have trouble as well. Okay, the red boat's apparent wind is in this direction. So she is sailing directly in the regular wind shadow of the red boat. So that is not a good place to be. Finally, this boat. She is in a good place to be. She is directly off of the red boat's beam and well out of her apparent wind and also not in the lee bow position. So this is a good spot to be sailing as well. So when you're out on the race course, make sure to avoid areas of disturbed air around other boats. It will significantly slow you down, hurt your pointing, and affect your race position. Don't sit in an area of dirty air for long. Even if you think you might be in dirty air, try to get out of it as quickly as possible. Sailing and cleaning the air is often the fastest way around the race course. I hope you found this video helpful. 
If you have any comments, please leave them in the comments section below. And don't forget to like and subscribe to Sailing Explained.